Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. So, food shortages in you, March 15th, 22. Now, I haven't done a food shortage video in a while. Um, I work crazy hours, 50 plus hours a week. As well as right now, I'm really concentrating on doing the things, getting my garden going, doing the composting, which I'll have a lot of great videos to come on that. They're a little more in depth. It takes several shoots and editing to put them together. So, that stuff is coming. You're just going to have to bear with me on it. Uh, but food shortages, I I had to go into my local Walmart earlier to pick up a couple things, and to my surprise, everything was pretty stocked up, at least compared to what I'm used to seeing anymore. Um, that's not to say the spread on things wasn't insanely wide. I mean, you know, variety is just a thing of the past, it seems like. And the obvious, obvious shortages that we've been seeing for a while are still there as far as pasta. You know, it wasn't completely wiped clean, but... Not a lot of variety on pasta, lots of holes, uh, condiments for some reason, at least in my area, um, really is getting odd. Like there's not a lot of variety or brands, um, whether it be ketchup or mayonnaise or dressing or pickles, you name it, you know, they have those items. There's just no variety whatsoever. There's only a few, um, as well as like canned goods. Um, I was honestly surprised canned veggies and stuff like that were pretty full i mean the shelf was packed full but same thing not a lot of variety it's either the high dollar you know del monte brand or or the best choice and nothing in between really um so yeah pasta was short uh biscuits for some reason maybe it's just my area but they're like non-existent anymore here um i bought several cans probably three weeks ago when they actually had some since then, every time I go in, I try to replace the ones I've used, and they're just not there. When I went in earlier, there was no biscuits whatsoever. Doesn't matter what style, what brand, they were non-existent. Um, and then, more obvious things, you know, uh, soda pop, uh, chips, big giant gaping holes in those items. Um, a lot of it's probably to do with aluminum, plastic, things like that. But um, meats were packed full. I mean, beef, pork... Uh, there were gaping holes in chicken. I think that's something we're just going to have to get used to. I mean, milk was stocked up, eggs, bacon. Um, they had quite a bit. Um, like I said, the variety is just not there. And things are in strange areas. I actually seen an entire end cap of one type of cereal. And it was at the end of the laundry detergent aisle. Made no sense whatsoever. Uh, but that's what I'm starting to notice is uh, they might be able to fill the, the aisle up with a few varieties but then they run out of things to put on the end cap. And a lot of times, the things I'm seeing on the end caps, if you go in the aisle and look for them, there's a big hole where they normally would go. So they're basically just taking those items out of the aisle, putting them on the end cap to make it look full. Um, but yeah, everything looked pretty decent compared to what I've seen in the last months in the past. Uh, frozen food was a little wiped here and there. Um, like. You know, frozen pizza seems to be always wiped out in my area. Um, but for the most part, the store looked pretty decent compared to what I've seen um, as of lately. Which kind of makes me wonder if things are just getting stagnant. You know, I think stagflation is taking hold, uh, if you know what that is. It basically means, you know, inflation is high, so people are cutting back, um, not really spending as much. As well as, I, I feel like there for a while, people were really stocking up on stuff. So maybe it's, it's just halted now. But but either way, the more stagnant it gets, uh, the higher the prices are going to go. I mean, when you compile the shortages, the trucking, uh, now war, you know, fuel going up, that's going to affect freight and all that. Um, I really feel like those big price hikes have not hit us yet. Um, they are soon to come, I feel like. So... Keep prepping. Uh, this is no time to put the brakes on. I know a lot of you feel like, hey, I got a couple months worth of food, six months worth of food, a couple years worth of food, whatever it may be. You can never have enough food. All right. The direction we're going and the price hikes and inflation skyrocketing the way it is, you can never have enough. Uh, the more you buy, the more money you're actually saving, at least in my mind. Uh, maybe not everybody would agree with that, but hey, I'm saving money every time I buy something from the store. So keep prepping, people. Keep putting it back. This is not stopping by no means. I, I really don't think you've seen the worst of it. It's, it's going to get bad. So as always, like this video and subscribe if you like what you hear. If you'd like to help support this channel, 
There are ways to do that down in the description box. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later.